Hi, aloha. I have an update to share with you. Sorry about the glare. I have a natural window in this direction and I have an LED light from this direction. So I'm trying to get the best angle. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Um, I have been going through a lot of issues Possibly related to the cancer and the chemo and the radiation, but not necessarily and so that's why the long um, Pauses in between and you do go through times when there's kind of nothing going on You're just sort of status quo and you're dealing with things but for me um, let's see, I've been getting a lot of migraines uh, like five or six times a week and then I had those lumps under my arm. So, as I said in my last video, had the ultrasound done for the lumps. There, nothing of, what happened? All of a sudden the lighting, whew. Um, it's been rainy and overcast for the last week here. And so the sun was out for a few minutes, but cloud cover just came over. Um, oh, and here comes the sun again. <laughs> but um, so the MR or the the ultrasound showed they're just um, they were just engorged lymph nodes. It's going to happen over the, the years, it, probably for the rest of my life. Sorry, it's really hot in here, and so and I just got out of the shower and I'm sweating and. You know what, I think I'm gonna turn the fan. Hang on just one second. And you can probably hear the fan whirring in the background and I apologize, but I need it. it it's just too hot in here. This is like an oven in this apartment. Um, even though it's raining and not as hot out, it's still like an oven in the apartment. Anyway, so the lymph nodes are sort of a, a non-issue issue. Um, there, It's going to happen. It, the lymph nodes will get blocked and swell up and then they'll unblock and unswell. It's something to watch, it's something to deal with. Can't do anything about it. The migraines on the other hand, I had the MRI to make sure that the cancer had not metastasized and gone into the brain. It has not. Um, however, I did have to go see a neurologist because the migraines are an issue. And, you know, I've been getting migraines since I was eight years old. Um, you know, they, when I was a kid, they were, everybody just thought I wanted out of school. You know, oh, I have a he she has a headache. She just doesn't want to go to school. And when I was about 19, I think it was, somebody finally diagnosed them as migraines. And so then they tried all, you know, this would have been around... 1980 so the drugs at that time were not really that great but they kept trying me on all these different drugs and they didn't work let me tell you when sumatriptan came out in the early 90s oh my god it, that was just like the miracle cure well not a cure but the miracle antidote for migraines and at the time it was an injection uh, you got three at a time and luckily insurance covered them and luckily I was working <laughs> but you had to inject yourself in the leg but within 10 minutes gone and they were just so fantastic and I would actually I stockpiled those things if I didn't use them I'd still go ahead and get my next prescription and get more in case I went through a series of migraines and couldn't get them because you could only get three a month on insurance. So um, then they came out with the pills. I think first they came out with a nasal spray, but I kept getting the injections. I think I tried the nasal spray and it didn't seem to work. And then they came out with the pills. And now they I don't think they even do the injections or the spray anymore, it's just pills. But the pills work, um, it takes about 20 minutes and then the headache goes away, but I am still left with what I call a migraine hangover, 
which is just, I feel, and I think I've explained this before, I feel like my headache could come back just at any time. Um, you know, just like one wrong smell, a light that's too bright, um, just any little thing could trigger it and it can come back. And um, noises bother me, like even worse, you know, well not even worse, but worse than they would if I didn't have a migraine, although not quite as bad if I do have a migraine. Um, a noise could trigger an, another migraine and I still want to just hold up. It, it's sort of like you have a hangover where everything is just sort of intensified, um, except it's a migraine hangover. And still feel queasy, feel achy, feel ugh. And so, um, and that, I have like that for the, the rest of the day or you know, if I take the pill at night, it's the next day. And so I've been getting these migraines five, six days a week when I used to get one or two a month. And so that's quite a change. So um, I sat with the neurologist and, uh, well, first I went to, the, I had the MRI and um, the oncologist said, no, there's no cancer, so that's good go see your um, general practitioner for the migraines. And so I went to my general practitioner and she said, she said that, you know, after going through my history with migraines, um, she referred me to a neurologist. I have never seen a neurologist for my migraines before. So that kind of blew everybody away that I've had migraines for so long and I've never seen a neurologist. And so, Okay. Um, and after the MRI, there were a couple of other things that were concerning as well. I'm kind of jumping all over the place here. And there's a reason for that, um, which I'll go over. Um, with the results of the MRI, when I, you know, you get the email that tells you the results and um, so I'm like looking at the results and it's one of the things it says is that there were, how did they put it, white deposits on the brain matter, something like that. And so then, you know, and they named what they were. They, they actually gave the medical name. And so I looked those up, big mistake. Never look up your medical symptoms. It's like, it takes you down the black hole. Um, so one of the causes of these white spots on the brain matter could be Alzheimer's and dementia. Okay. Well, my mother had Alzheimer's and dementia. And having lived through that, I would rather shoot myself than make my daughter go through it again. And I don't want to go through it myself. And the fact that I have been forgetting things and jumbling things up and not getting things right is very worrisome for me when I see that I have these white spots that could be dementia. And the fact that I have family history, very close family history, not distant family history, some great, great aunt you know, somewhere in my past, but my mother. So yeah, I was a little freaked out. I was a lot freaked out. I worried about it for the week that it took, two weeks that it took. So I got referred to the neurologist. And so when I saw the neurologist, he set me down and we went over, first we went over all the migraine stuff. And then we discussed the possibility of the Alzheimer's and dementia. And he gave me the little memory test. And the only thing I couldn't remember is the very first question is he gives you five words that you have to repeat back to him. 
and then at the end of the test he said what were the five words and I could only remember two <laughs> and so you know then he said that's normal you know everything else I aced it, it's like and and it's like math questions and you know some may have to like sit and calculate but you know I got them right and it, it's not like what day is today who is the president it, it's a little bit more intricate than that but um, and it's like when he told this whole story and I had to like repeat back okay who's the story about who was her husband what what did she do where did she live where did she move who were her kids you know all this stuff and so um, so I'm okay <laughs> at least for now um, and that's sort of it I'm still worried about it because it's something I've been worried about since my mother had it I've been worried about it for years ever since my mother had it could I get it will I get it you know so I will continue to worry about it in that manner but I don't have to worry about it for today um, he did go over my migraine medication which I have been on this one medication that is supposed to block migraines and I've been on it for at least 10 years possibly longer I don't even know when I started it um, and one of the side effects of this is that it can start to deteriorate memory so um, and it causes it's like it causes foggy brain it you know so what he's doing is he's starting me on a new medication which I started last night and it's weaning off the old one, weaning in the new one. Is that right? Weaning in. Working in the new one. Building it up. Um, so we're going to see how that works. And, you know, in the last 10 years, there have been a lot of new migraine treatments come out. I have never tried Botox. I never needed it until the last few months. I never had that many migraines that I needed it. You know, so, you know, they, and the ones that I've gotten have not been as severe as they used to be. Now they're getting severe. And, you know, when I'm taking the Sumatriptan three, four times a week, now we're getting into the bad stuff, you know. And... I'm trying to keep the glare out, sorry. That's why I keep kind of moving back and forth. Um, but, so that is my new medical journey. Um, working on the migraines, trying to alleviate the migraines. We may have to do the Botox if um, this new drug doesn't work. That's kind of like the next step, I think. Um, we're going to see, we're going to give it a couple of weeks and then step down on the old drug, step up on the new drug and see how things are going. Tucker's dreaming. <laughs> He's like doing the <laughs> So, um, so that's what I've been doing, what I've been dealing with, um, you know, it's, I, I don't know if, and that's the thing, it's like, are the migraines related to the cancer in any way? I have no idea. You know, did the chemo or the radiation trigger something? Not a clue. Um, it would you know, if any of you have had where this has happened, you know, like a year after your chemo and radiation, let me know because, boy, if we can pinpoint something, that would be great.
but this is where I am, what I'm doing, uh, how I'm trying to deal with it. Uh, you know, I still have to work, so I work with migraines. Um, you know, it, I take, I took one day off for one because I just couldn't deal. But glare. You know, I don't want to face this way, but that's like the only way I can not get glare. <laughs> so, and I've got my Valentine lights up. These are diamonds. These are like um, diamond ones, which I thought were pretty. And um, my birthday is in April, so my gemstone is a diamond. So that was kind of cool. And they are on, but you can't tell because of the light. Um, so, you know, comment down below. Let me know if you're dealing with migraines, if what you do for them there's like so little you can do for them it's tough and if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell whichever side it's on so that you can get updates when I post a new video since they're not regular update you know since I don't post regularly on this channel and um, I will talk to you next time I'll keep you updated on how things go bye bye